Hey everyone, I'm Yasmin. Up next on Pop Fusion, the talk show, we speak with Carlos Benavegas. You and your wife, um, happy belated birthday to your wife as well. Uh, you two are truly incredible, phenomenal, such artistic and talented, a super couple and absolutely beautiful and amazing. Like I obviously have been stalking you <laughs> in this time. And, um, you know, you both have uh, produced and acted in this incredible movie, Mighty Oak. We've yeah. spoken to quite a few of the cast members, Tommy Reagan and Rodney Hicks, Gianna Harris, Ben Milliken. So it's great to speak to you because you were also executive producer on the movie and you played Pedro in the film. Um, so what, what was that experience like? Because as viewers, like the message that at least we took away from it was that it's never too, you're never too young or old to follow your dreams. And so ultimately for you to have come onto this project, what was the message that you hope the viewers have taken away from it or wanted to give to them? Yeah, you know, we, 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 we filmed this last March, or sorry, a year ago from last March. So way before any of the craziness that's going on in the world. So I think the timing of the movie was great because it's such a movie of hope. Um, and you know, what, what Lex and I always talk about is that it, it, it's amazing because sometimes hope can come in the smallest form. Uh, and for all of our characters in the, in the movie, you know, Tom, uh, uh, Tommy Reagan, who in, in real life is the most amazing, uh, you know, guitar player and he's so humble and he's incredible. But, um, in the movie, this kid comes in and he's, and you know, all the characters are kind of just searching for something. They're kind of getting to that place where, you know, nothing's really moving for them. Like, are they giving up on their dreams? Like, what's happening? And this little kid brings them all back together and gives them hope that, you know, so, that, that, that they can kind of continue and get back together. And um, I, I, I just really love that, that, that message. Because I think, you know, my kids, I can be super stressful. Uh, or, or sorry, life can be super stressful. I can be super stressed with things going on and traveling and this and that. But I see my kids and, and they give me so much they just give me so much, right? And 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 who knew that this, you know, little one-year-old, he could just come over and smile and he can completely take away any bad stuff that happened the whole day. Oh, that's so heartwarming. Well, I love how you've put that together and it really is such an incredible movie. And it's really great to see how kids are too. Like, I mean, I was just watching Gianna Harris. She's an incredible singer. And Tommy Reagan, as you've pointed out. So, you know, he plays Oak. And what was it like working with him? Because he's a writer, a singer, a talented actor as well. Yeah, you know, uh, what's crazy is that this, this is his first project, right? Um, and he he basically wrote all the music for the movie and he's not even, you know, not even 15 years old. So it's like, it's like, it kind of gave me this, um, it gave me hope in, in, you know, in, in my personal life. There, there are a lot of things that I really still want to accomplish. Uh, I'm only 31 and I have so many dreams. I'm like, I, I just want to keep going. And sometimes you get so many no's and a lot of rejection uh, in different things. And it, it kind of sets you back, but to see this kid, who, you know, not, not even 15 years old, not even like he can't even drive. He's not even 16. And yet he's writing all the music for a major motion picture. It's just, it's awesome. Wow. I cannot believe that. Okay. That's a really fun fact to know. Um, first project, writing all the music. But hey, you got to also give yourself credit because I think you started your career at the age of 15 too. You made some appearances on ER. You've really developed your journey through that. Like, yeah, yeah. You, you're definitely pushing and pulling and you're like you said you're still just 31 so young you still have so much ahead of you I can tell like you're very switched on both you and your wife and and going with that my next question would be how how has that positive attitude that you have and the faith that goes along with it impacted your success yeah, I mean, I mean, for us, our our faith is everything. Uh, my my wife and I met at Bible study. It was both of our first time, and you know, our whole relationship was grounded in you know going to church, and um, that's literally how we started hanging out. Like I would pick her up on Sundays to go to church, and I think for us having having God as our you know foundation, I kind of always talk it uh, as like the 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 you know triangle, right? So Lex and I are on each side and the closer we get to God, the closer we get to each other. Um, and just having that as our foundation has really made it um, 
it's made it really, I don't want to say easy because it's, it's <laughs> marriage is not easy. Life is not easy, but it makes it uh, really easy because I, I have someone to ha like to go through life with who we were really connected. I mean, most people are like, do you guys like working together? I, I work to get away from, like leave for work to get away from for a break. And my wife and I, we just love doing everything together. Um, and I think we just have this great bond that uh, that was rooted in our faith. And I think that just, it translates to, it translates to everything that we do. Um, any, anybody that we speak to, any, any project that we jump on, it's like, that, that is what guides us. And I think that's, you know, why we are the way we are. Yeah, I, I love that. I love your love story. That's actually a very cute thing. How you used to pick her up on Sundays and go to Bible study together and everything. And uh, you're definitely like the definition of two peas in a pod, I must say. <laughs> like you've really found each other. God has really, God has really put you together. Yeah. And, and, and it's so heartwarming. And I love how real you are about it. You know, it's not easy. And I think both in the film and Mighty Oak and uh, in your life that you're translating is that things are not easy you whatever you want you're gonna have to work hard for it and that goes in relationships as well as career yep. um and now obviously in this time it's just been a, a time and place of evaluation right of life and so so what's next for you and and your wife or you know your family like what are you excited yeah. about that's coming now, up for you our industry got hit hard um you know, we had a lot of projects lined up for this year and everything's kind of been put on hold. So we are, you know, kind of like the rest of the world, just trying to figure it out and trying to see what, what, you know, what, what is, uh, what, what the next six months even look like. Right. Um, but you know, we've, we've just really, we've really spent these, these, these last six months investing into our family. Right. So, um, taking time, with our kids, I'm such a go-getter. I'm like, go, 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 go. So even if I spend, you know, an hour with my son or, or both of them, I'm like, I'm like there, but I'm always thinking about other stuff. So this has been a, like a really great opportunity to test, hey, you know what? I'm gonna be as present as I can with each one of these people in my life. And not, not just my family, but friends and, um, you know, people who I haven't talked to in a long time. Like how present can I be because like our circumstances are so uncertain. Like who who knows what's gonna happen, right? So I I don't know. I've just really been trying to um, take time with people and and like really be present. And that has allowed us to then go, okay, cool. Uh, w what are other things that we can embark on uh, that don't require us leaving for acting or you know singing or whatever? And um, we we started a podcast that uh, is gonna our our first episode is gonna drop on Friday. That's exciting. What's it called? Tell us about it. We were just like, what? Like, we, we want to give more and talk more. And, um, we have our YouTube channel, Lex Loves Los. And uh, we have a lot of episodes coming out. And, and it, you know, it's, it's, it's been like one or two every week. But uh, we, we kind of wanted to do something that didn't require, uh, you know, that. Like, like something that we could bang out, like, a lot of. Because the episodes are tough. We have two kids who want to be entertained and sometimes don't want and we want and, and and then you have to edit and add the music and it's just it's a lot so so we literally started the podcast uh, it's called the cross your heart podcast uh the it's cross all your heart podcast yeah so so alexa alexa started um uh i, I call it a lifestyle brand but it's everything uh and, and you know she has a blog and it kind of encompasses everything that you know we have been doing and it's called cross your heart the the uh, company's called cross your heart and we started doing a lot of uh, it, it. It actually it emerged during Dancing with the Stars because we made these cool like, you know, Dancing with the Stars team jackets back in the day. And, <laughs> and it like Lex wanted to make more, you know, apparel and then all this stuff. And then it, it just kept evolving and evolving. And um, right now, it's in the middle of this big revamp. And the first thing coming out is this Friday is our is our Cross Your Heart podcast. Uh, so that's yeah oh that's gonna be so much fun what are you gonna be diving into is it gonna be you two are you gonna have guests you're gonna have your kids as well <laughs> oh, the, it, it took a long time because we didn't know what we wanted it to be we tried so many different things we recorded stuff um and it just didn't it, it, it didn't feel right and we were praying on it and one day Lex was like look we we are people who are who are an open book and let's just talk about whatever we want to talk about like like it, it doesn't have to be one straight thing yeah. so 
Um, I think I think our first episode we we it's uh, that episode's just just Alexa and I, um, but we talk about uh, about health because this last month has been a crazy health journey for us. Um, mm. uh, on on August first, I decided to try plant based for a whole month. Oh, ooh. I, I, it, now I'm, we're on the first of September. How do you feel? <laughs> feel fantastic. Uh, and I, I don't miss. I don't miss meat at all, which is crazy because I was such a like every night I gotta have like chicken or steak or lunch or chicken. Like I mean, I was I was always getting some sort of uh, meat in there, and you know, Alexa still has her like cravings here and there, and she's like, "Oh my gosh, I wish I could do this." But for me, I mean, it's it's, it's been a month, and we'll see how long you know I can go. But I hey, feel so, so I command you on that. You know, <laughs> I, I tried it for I think like two days. I couldn't. <laughs> I needed my protein, so. Hey. It's incredible when you can do that. I kind of just have to find proteins in different in different forms, and um, I don't know. I'm I'm the type of person that if I go into something, I dive in a hundred percent, right? I'm mm -hmm. I'm not like the okay, I'll try it. I'm like, no, are we doing this? Because like I'm in, right? Like just like, all in, yeah. So we've been in, and um, you know, for a minute there, we thought that I was like gluten intolerant, so we cut out gluten, and then we thought so. It's crazy. Oh, it, it was an interesting journey of process of elimination, trialing right. out, and now you're seeing what works for you and and seeing how it acts. I mean, we're we're all so trained a certain way to do this, eat this, uh, do like bum 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 bum. And I think every body is different, right? Yeah. Um, and and um, one of our best friends lost their their uh, kid to cancer about a year and a half ago, okay. or uh, a year and a few months ago. He was ten, and it, it really it, it really hit home for for us and. Obviously for them, but it hit home for us because it was so close. Um, and and we literally, from then on, we were like, we're gonna go on this journey to find, like, to to, to figure out, like, what is the healthiest way to live, right? And mm -hmm. and, and diet is such a huge part of it. And mm -hmm. my my wife, she raised the question. She said, "Well, how did they do it in, in the biblical days? Because these guys, these guys were living a long time, right? I mean, yeah, that's now, true." Now you're lucky if you get to 80, you know, 80, I did it. I'm like, no, I, I, I want to be like these guys going to like 120. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, like, what was their secret? <laughs> you know, going just, back to basics. Yeah. Just going to figure out, you know, uh, like what, what, what works for me, what works for Alexa, what works for my kids, you know, um, not, not to get too detailed because. Uh, People, oh I got to listen on the podcast. <laughs> My son Ocean, he was so against any 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 veggies, right? So he was he was always having um, number two problems. He was always you know congested in there. Oh, he's gonna love you for but, this for sharing this. <laughs> that's tough, you know. He 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 didn't want to potty train. He didn't want to do anything. So we started him on these like uh, vegetarian uh, or uh, uh, plant based nuggets, right? So now so now he's getting his veggies. Chicken nuggets. Ah, very it's, smart. It's great. He's potty trained. Does everything. Boom. Literally within the last month. Wow. So you can even get kids on the plant based diet I'm, if they must go on it. It's like life changing. That scene. I'm not saying <laughs> right way to do it, but I'm excited for this first episode to come out on Friday because we just go. We just go. Just go. It's I like, love that. I mean, I, I must say, you guys are so natural when it comes in terms of your vlogs. Like, you really give an insight of your life and just keep it so raw and real. So I'm pretty sure that that's how your podcast is going to feel like and sound like. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Look, look at everybody who's loving. They're sending so much love here in this conversation. It's incredible. Um, so are people going to be able to listen to this on iTunes? And um, is there anything else that you also want to share with us before we let you go? Yes. Yeah, so yes, it'll it'll be available everywhere that podcasts are available. And then something else that I want to share, um, you know, I'm I'm really excited for the world to continue to see Mighty Oak. Um, it's a it's one of those small movies that has a lot of heart. Uh, and the fact that you know we're getting so much love on this film, so thank you so much for you know getting the word out. It's just it's incredible. I mean, to be a part of something and not and and not just as an actor, but someone who's truly invested. Uh, in the project in terms of like creative and and just like heart and soul like it's it's so cool to come in and see people reacting the the, the way they are so thank you so much for getting the word out and if you got absolutely it's super cool and these uh 
these 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 little movies i think to me these are the best ones because it kind of makes me feel like 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 uh like uh, back in the 90s all the movies i felt like were just home movies they they just hit home they uh uh like felt really good you know um they had a- they had a great feel and depth yeah. to it we did a movie yeah. with the same director who did a uh, mighty oak called spare parts about seven eight years ago and it has that same feel so uh same director mm-hmm. He just brings that uh, Sean McNamara. He, he he also did Soul Surfer, which if you haven't seen Soul Surfer, you gotta go see that movie too. Okay, I gotta go get that on my list. <laughs> I got time to watch, so. <laughs> and um, I th- I think people are really gonna enjoy it. Amazing. Well, thanks so much. I mean, that's an incredible movie. So if people haven't watched it, they can watch it on Hulu, correct? And, um, you know, that it is such a heartwarming, I feel like it's something that we all need right now in this time to watch a movie like Mighty Oak and really discovering the talent that you guys have put together and discovered. It's really incredible. Like it's given me the chills when I was watching everybody like, you know, singing. And there's been a few people that want to hear you sing. I know you did a post recently with you singing again. And uh, why were you shy of it? <laughs> no, I... I, I, did, I, you know, was in Big Time Rush and we did all that. And then I kind of just backed off of everything. And, you know, it's, it's always uncomfortable putting yourself out there. But Alexa's constantly pushing me. And I don't know. I just feel like every month I'm trying to do something new that takes me out of my comfort zone. And I really want to, you know, kind of just continue keep doing on, keep it. More- oh, uh, now the podcast is going to come out. So just continue pushing the limits because... You know, that's that's kind of all we can do, especially in this crazy time. Thank God we have social media. What would we do? Exactly. What would we do if we what could- would we do? I oh. mean, knowing about this and having to be contained, oh. we're, we're, we're grateful for the fact that we do have this, even though well, it can be a burden, too. Let me ask you this, though. Isn't it strange? Maybe it's just me, but it's almost so normal now. Like I do a Zoom call and I, it, it's, it's not even like, whoa, this is so weird. It's just like this, this is what we do. This is, you know what, and we're just getting used to it. It's six months in that we're in this already. It's crazy. Well, thank you so much. Everybody's been asking again. The podcast is coming out this Friday. People can tune into it on iTunes. And you also have Mighty Oak, the movie. Do check it out. It's on Hulu as well. It's really incredible, heartwarming. And honestly, like you and your wife, happy belated again. So (laughs) Alexa, and I, I hope you guys stay safe. Keep on at it, keep on trying new things and, um, you know, stay blessed.